Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how metals react with oxygen. You should then be able to explain the reaction of metals with oxygen in terms of oxidation and reduction. This is the first video in a large topic looking at a range of different chemical reactions. Some of these are quite tricky but we're going to start with a simple reaction, the reaction of metals with oxygen. We can find lots of examples of metals reacting with oxygen and I'm showing you two of these here. Magnesium reacts with oxygen rapidly, releasing a great deal of heat and light. This is a very vigorous reaction. Iron reacts more slowly with oxygen, taking weeks or months to react. So, what actually happens when metals react with oxygen? This shows the chemical equation for the reaction of magnesium with oxygen. The first key idea to get is that when a metal reacts with oxygen, we form the metal oxide. So in this case, we're making magnesium oxide. Here's the equation for the reaction of iron with oxygen. And again, we're making a metal oxide, in this case, iron oxide. In both of these reactions, the metal has gained oxygen. Gaining oxygen is called an oxidation reaction, and you need to learn that. So in the case of the reaction between magnesium and oxygen, we can say that the magnesium has been oxidized. In other words, it's gained oxygen. And in the case of the reaction between iron and oxygen, we can say that the iron has been oxidized. Again, because the iron has gained oxygen. So to recap, when metals react with oxygen, we form the metal oxide and an oxidation reaction takes place. We say that the metal atoms have been oxidized. Now, in later videos, we're going to look at how we can remove oxygen from metal compounds. I'm showing you here this reaction for magnesium oxide. So you can see that we've taken magnesium oxide and split the compound back into the elements magnesium and oxygen. Losing oxygen is called a reduction reaction. So as you can see here, the magnesium atoms have been reduced. In other words, they've lost oxygen. Take a look at this reaction. We've got calcium reacting with copper oxide to form calcium oxide and copper. I'd like you to pause the video and work out which element has been oxidized and which element has been reduced. OK, as you can see, the calcium has gained oxygen. We've gone from calcium to calcium oxide, so the calcium has been oxidized. The copper has lost oxygen. We've gone from copper oxide to copper, so the copper has been reduced. We're going to be exploring lots of reactions just like this one in later videos. So it's important that you're happy with the idea of oxidation and reduction. Remember that you'll find plenty more questions on the reactions of metals with oxygen and on oxidation and reduction in my revision workbook. And you can get that by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to describe how metals react with oxygen. You should then be able to explain the reaction of metals with oxygen in terms of oxidation and reduction.